Hey what's going on lads this is Viplex and welcome back to another video this video will be about how you can increase FPS and performance of Warzone 2 after season 5 update I hope this video will help you so watch till the end and let's start So first of all we will do some important windows settings go to your windows update setting and update your windows in my case the window is updated and I have passed the windows update for now Next step is that you go to your graphic card driver setting and see that if there your graphic card drivers are updated. Then search for game bar and turn this off. You don't need Xbox game bar in your Windows. The next step is you turn on turn on game mode. This will help a lot in performance of Warzone. Now search for background apps and turn all of them off. We don't need background apps turning in the background. And also do the same setting with startup as you can you can open startup apps by going to task manager and startup and disable them you don't need. Now we will do some graphics. Search graphic settings here in the search menu and just uh, turn on this option hardware upgrade GPU now choose an app to set preference just we will add the app of Call of Duty so just browse the your app Call of Duty launcher and add it as mine is uh, just added before you just click on high performance here and add the other three also it will be in detail Edit. Now search for power option. This is very important if you are using a laptop. So just search for power, go to additional power setting and click on high performance. And click on change brand setting and just choose the never and never option. The next setting is you search for MS config and go to boot advanced options and select man. So next setting is that you search for MS config run as admin and go to boot menu and click on advanced options here you have to click uh, select the number of processor please make sure that uh, your number of processor are same as is shown in the task manager same as like I have four so I will select four and click on apply so we will not restart now we will start later Now we will do Call of Duty config file settings. You can find config file in the documents of your Windows. Go to documents, Call of Duty, players, and there it will be option 3 code. You just open it with not code. When, open, when you have opened it, just go to the bottom and just uh, search for thread count. Here there will be a written uh, render worker count. Go to task manager, performance, CPU and uh, uh, search for your cores. If your cores are 2, uh, type in 2. As my cores are 4, so I type 4. Now find clutter max. When it will copy, it will be like this. Just uh, select minimum option available. Do this with the other two options. Uh, second one will be corpse culling threshold select 0 0.5 paste it next will be uh, sun shadow cache cascade is low The last but least will be texting texture filter quality. You have to select it texture filter linear. These are the settings of Windows and config files. Now we will do the in-game settings of Warzone 2.
so let's do some in-game video settings go to your display settings and select display mode to full screen exclusive next select your display resolution to your native resolution in my case it is 1920 by 1080 next select your custom frame limit to your 3 times less than your refresh rate of screen my screen refresh rate is 60 so i put 57 for quality settings you can copy the same, same settings but mine everything is low and upscaling is set to amd fsr1 in performance mode and everything is low video memory scale is full if you have a 2gb graphic card you can select it to 70 and for view settings you can select 120 and download their intel before they lock us out moving here